Ok, let's now try update operators in action. And first operator we will try is set. Let's go back to Robust3T. I'll close this tab and right button click on the form database and click open shell. This will open empty shell. And here I'll do following. DB, then post, that is the name of the collection, and update one. Here you see list of suggestions, I can choose update one here. And here I'll pass first argument, that is a query, and second argument, that is the update object. Let's split this in several lines like this. Here it is. And let's now do following. Let's find document, for example, this one, with post ID 2618. And then let's set shared to true. Now it is false. Ok, let's use post ID in the query. Post ID equal to 2618. 2618. And then I'll use set operator, dollar sign set, column, and I want to set shared to true. Let's do following. I'll open new shell, double click on post collection. And find one and paste here this query in order to see difference. Command enter. Now shared is false. Ok, now I'll set shared to true. I'll pass an object as a value, shared, colon, true. And let's execute this, command enter. And here is the result. Acknowledge true, matched count 1 and modified count 1. It means that one document was found and one document was modified. Let's get back to the find one tab and execute this query again. Command enter. And now shared is true. Now it's time for the challenge for you. Please find document, this one, with post ID 1151 and change its title. Title should be what is the average salary of the senior front-end developer. Good luck! Ok, let's do that now together. Let's get back to update one tab and instead of post ID 2618, I'll use post ID 1151, paste it here and set title. I'll copy current title from here and paste here and instead of junior, I'll use senior, like this. And let's go back to find one tab and here 1151. So at the moment here is junior. And let's execute update one operation. Command enter. And you see result modified count one. Let's get back to find one, refresh, and now here you see senior. Ok. Next let's try unset operation. Unset instead of set. Unset deletes certain field. And let's for example delete text field here in this document where text array is empty. Let's first find all documents with empty text array. Text equal to empty array. Command enter. And here is the result. Just one document has empty array. And let's instead of update one, let's use update menu. Update menu, text equal to empty array and we will simply unset this field. Instead of string, simply pass one, text colon one. And let's execute it. Modified count one, one document was modified. Let's now try to find documents with empty text array, command enter, and now I get nothing, because there are no documents with empty array. Let's try to find this document by its ID, 2618, post ID, and here on the right, 2618, and execute it. Now this document doesn't have text array. Now another task for you. Please use inc operator and increment number of the comments in this document. Increment this number by 1. Good luck! Ok, let's do that now together. Let's firstly find this document by its ID. 
five one comment enter here it is now number of the comments is two let's use ink operator update one I'll update specific document post ID 451 here it is and I'll use ink operator and I will increment comments by one simply comments here by one comment enter modified count one let's get back to find one and execute this query again and now there are three comments Okay, that is a short overview of the update operators. Let's move on and in the next section we will discuss delete methods and we will delete some of the documents in our collection. See you there. Bye-bye.